Oh, wait a sec. I found a secret, finally! I knew they existed! So it's hitting them! Or at least one of them is hitting them. Hey, another set of ashes. Also, hello Dark Souls fans and welcome back to Let's Die Horribly in Dark Souls 3 as I've just found a secret area in my search for secret areas. Because I wanted to find... Because apparently this one came up, I actually got comments about, Hey, there's a secret area you missed and I do find that as one of the things I want to have, so thank you. This wasn't the area that I had in mind, I was actually just trying to figure out what the heck those things were. Because there was this item that was just hanging there, I didn't know what it was. Turns out it's ashes. Umbral Ash of one who dreamt of joining the Undead Legion. With this, the Shrine Handmaid will prepare new items. In the end, the dream chasers who wandered aimlessly in the rotted forest found a sense of fulfillment. Well, that's good for them. And also good for me, but the other one I will cut to when we get to it. Although, actually, I might not even have to because the next one is not that far down. Actually, a bonfire warp away. But I'll still cut to it, so see you when I find the next secret area, and then we'll continue on with whatever it was afterwards. I don't, even, I don't even remember what it was. And I think it worked with the wrong bonfire. But yeah, see you when I get to the next secret that I apparently missed. Alright, welcome back. I actually didn't find anything. I guess ah. that I don't know exactly where it is, but let's just give that umbral ash. Ashen one, what woeful umbral ash is this? This barren dust stuff of a fool won't yield aught. Where didst thou happen upon the stuff? Tell me for the sport. Oh yes, I see. Clinging to lofty dreams in this dying world, more's the pity. It must come from one most foolish indeed. Wouldst thou not agree? <laughs> oh. Well, did I get more stuff? I don't know. It looks like I might have. I mean, there's armor that I don't recall seeing before. Not much, though. But I have gold... No, this gold pine bundle is now a thing. Pretty sure I couldn't get this before. I think there are some new things here. I think actually that wasn't complete waste. Okay, good. Phew. That would have been kind of frustrating if it was a complete waste, but it was not. So, good. At least I think. Hmm. Do I want this? Might be a good idea to keep this in mind, but I have some ideas of what I want to get anyway. So I will. Ashen one, bring is it? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll Ashen get stuff. Anyway, <laughs> let's go back to where the Abyss Watchers died, and then we'll continue from there because that's where the catacombs start. All right. Let's see, Catacombs of Karthus. Now one thing I want to know, do the Necromancers respawn? The answer is... Yes, yes they do. Okay, I mean at least it's not too bad 
I mean, it's annoying that I have to deal with the Necromancer every single time I want to deal with these skeletons. But at the same time, it's not as bad as it was in the original. In the original game, trying to deal with a Necromancer was a... Whoa! All right, this thing fell off the cliff the first and second time. Okay, well, I guess that's the weakness. They're stronger than the ones that were in the original game. Ow. They're just not especially threatening for the simple fact that they kill themselves, at least in that particular territory. That particular terrain, they die. Easily. Seems to have a fog ring or something on that. It's not a fog ring, it's... It was in Dark Souls 2. It made you invisible when you were rolling. I don't remember what it's called. What the? I don't remember what it was. It was like... Fool's Ring or something like that? I don't remember the exact name. But yeah, that that's what it reminds me of. Anyway, let's continue. So let's see. There's an archer up there. There's another skeleton right there. Trying to block futilely with a sword with no head. I must say I'm not that surprised. Not that they would have a brain to begin with, but you know. Having a head sometimes helps. Sheesh, these are really poorly put together skeletons. Okay, you know what? I don't care about you. I care about the archer here. Now you can die. But that archer was a huge threat. I didn't want to have to deal with that myself. Well, I should say, I didn't want to have to deal with that with something else trying to hit me. Obviously, I'm dealing with that myself because I'm dealing with everything myself because that's how I roll. Trap? Huh. I don't see what the trap is. Maybe it's down the ladder. Or no, it's not. Alright, what is down here? I'm curious. My curiosity is quite peaked. So one thing about catacomb type places, it's kind of hard to just figure out what's going on. Because the enemies are piles of bones, so they're kind of indistinct until you get close up. Uh. Oops. Wow, didn't even notice me. Come on. There we go. Nice headshot. Whoa, what? And they cause bleed, too. Well, that's good to know. Get back here. Sheesh, you're annoying. Where'd my stamina go? I'm dead. Oh, maybe not. Ah, right in between their knives. I guess I rolled around too much with the stamina. Hey! Managed to kill one fair and square, finally! Ooh, Titanite Shard. And a Kukri. Let's see what that says, if anything cool. Where's the Kukri? It is... I never read the Falchion either. Falchion's flesh-rending slash attacks are greatly compromised against armor and tough scale covered hides. Okay, just curved sword, nothing special. Where is the Kukri? It's probably nothing special either, but let's not find out. Let's just know, rather than guess. Did I ever read the Uchikatana? I don't think I did. 
A unique katana characterized by the fine craftsmanship of an eastern land where it was forged. The finely sharpened blade cuts flesh like butter and causes bleeding, but breaks easily as a result. And holds to do a lunging slash. This is what the master was using, that first enemy at Firelink Shrine that I died a few times to. I never read that one. Alright. Where's the kookery? Oh, they must be a consumable item. That must be what was being thrown at me. I'm used to kukri's being an actual... Yeah, there we go. Small throwing machete that you can throw at enemies to cause bleeding damage. A unique weapon originally used by the swordsmen of Karthus, but now popular among bandits and thieves. Although, to be fair, I'm not sure which one that was. Also Titanite Shard, which is nice. How many do I have? I have two. Hey, another secret. Yay, more secrets! Oh, I just realized. I should probably heal up. While this thing is putting itself together. Oh, there's another one. Oh yeah, right. Healing uses up all my stamina. Where's your necromancer? Okay. Get you out of the way so I can deal with your necromancer. Shoot. Okay, good. Come back from that! Weird. I expected there'd be a necromancer here. Something. Or that the one I just killed was the one that was causing this one to regenerate itself. That or it just has to die twice. I kind of doubt it's the dying twice thing, though. But hey, I got rid of an archer before it would have been a problem. Thank you, random messages. Oh, that's probably the necromancer in question. It's probably the one up there, down the hall. Alright, well, we found two secrets. One of them completely on my own. Just... I saw a thing and realized, hey, I need to find another thing. Alright. Oh, this one's using a larger sword now. Ah, that was not timed well. That, however, was not aimed well. Ow! That was. Oh, I love having my crossbow. How oh, I love having my crossbow. It is a wondrous thing. Oh, no, not another one of you guys. Okay. I didn't want to use my Estus, but I guess I have to. Ow! I'll regret not doing so. Oh, one too many shots. Oh, come on, back. Ah, I didn't backstab. Eh, they rolled away before. So I noticed actually during the Abyss Watchers fight, backstabbing works like a combination. Wow. Okay, what I was saying about Titanite Charge before? Totally wrong. Now they're falling like candy. They really want you to upgrade everything to plus three. But going back a step, I was. When I was fighting the Abyss Watchers all 91 times, I found that backstabbing actually works not quite like Dark Souls 1. A lot of people, when Dark Souls 3 was being announced and people were talking about it, well, I should say FromSoft was giving details, there were a lot of people that were concerned the backstabbing was working like Dark Souls 1, which, for the most part, it is. I mean, that's not entirely wrong. It's just that it's not exactly working like Dark Souls 1. The way that Dark Souls 1 worked, it was straightforwardly, you just get a backstab. Like, you're in a backstab position, you get a backstab. Easy as that. Whereas 2 had this system where you actually had to kind of punch the enemy first. It's the only way I can really describe it. But basically, you didn't just get a backstab. You had to actually kind of punch him in the back a bit, and then you had to backstab. So, during the punch, the target could actually move out of the way. In Dark Souls 3, the backstab is more or less like Dark Souls 1, but the opponent can, st or the target can actually move out of the way. Like, they're not totally doomed to die, or not die, but they might not get hit. If they're rolling out of the way when you start backstabbing, you'll just do a stab animation in thin air. So it's not quite like Dark Souls 2, where it could be avoided if you were positioned in such a way that it was impossible for your opponent to quite get the punch right, but it's still avoidable. 
unlike Dark Souls 1. Just not very easily avoidable. So I've gone around in a circle. Yeah, this... This is where I started. Okay. How did that happen? Let's double check here. So I went down... I went up that path, went around and back, went down a ladder right, and then I went down this giant... That was not a staircase. I was about to say the giant staircase, and then I realized, no, the staircase is to the left. That was just a drop. I wonder if the, my defense actually reduces the amount of damage I take from dropping. I'm suspecting it might. Alright, so up goes back to where I was before. Through this door here goes to a new area. Hey, that's the area you can drop to for the run back. And might want to, because holy crap, that's kind of scary to deal with. But okay, that's good to know. But it's also good to know that the, not great necromancers, but the bigger skeletons that keep the other skeletons alive, those ones are... Seems like a good time for a claymore. Ow. Yeah, there we go. Because claymores deal so much more damage. There we go. Alright. Got rid of you. But yes, yeah, so anyway, those really threatening ones, to keep them alive, they respawn, which is a bit annoying because it means that if I wanted to jump down, run back... I mean, I can obviously jump down for the run back, but I can't... <gasps> Titanite Lizard time! Or, there you are. Ow! Alright, Twinkling! Although I need another one of those for it to be fully useful. And I think someone raided a message I had. I just noticed I got an extra Estus that I didn't have before. Which usually, I think, means raiding a message. I think that's how it works in 3. That works in 2. Okay, this is probably boring. Wait, headshots don't work on skeletons? Okay, that's good to know. Oh, they're also too far away for me to really deal significant damage to them. Ow. Okay, good. Got rid of that one. That was embarrassing, but at least I got rid of the Titanite Lizard. Or got the Twinkling Titanite from the Titanite Lizard. I feel good about that. Blood Red Moss Clump. Oh yeah, I could not have jumped here. In fact, that's a death drop. Ow! Okay. The bigger question I had was, where's the big guy? It looks like there isn't one. I just have to deal with an archer while trying to do other stuff. How much health do I have? Oh, I don't have much health left. I was like, I might want to Ash Nestus and just heal. Get my health back. May even want to just drop down and attack from that direction, but I don't know. That seems a little risky. Like, a little, should say, a little excessively risky. Like, obviously it's risky no matter what I do. Oh, what? Okay, that's, that's sentient. That's not just a trap, I guess. Where did that come from? Okay, I mean, sure, why not? Oh, but I took off my Indiana Jones gear. Oh, whatever. Okay. Is this thing, like, attackable? No, it seems to be a force of nature. Okay, whatever. There was a corpse on here, though. Oh, there it is. It's further up. Alright, got it. I think actually I can avoid... Oh, it's a member. Cool. Yeah. Stand in the pillars, I avoid the... ball... of... skeletons. I mean, it is a ball of death. It is a death ball. It's just... in the most literal sense, and I feel like that's a little gauche. Oh, come on. Seriously, you're going to alert people? Presumably. Or are you just trying to lure me in?
Oh, that is so cruel. Get back here. Alright, what else is around here? I mean, I feel kind of silly that I got hit by that trap, but honestly, I'm kind of impressed at it. Like, its existence is just kind of... I kind of like that. Oh, shoot. Oh, I see it. What the heck? Oh, great. Well, you've got to die, or at least be put disabled slightly first. No, I can't deal with this. I can't deal with this. You all know how much I hate things following me. And I can't... Where's the thing that makes them do the thing they do? Ah, it's not quite far enough. All right. Ah, what the... No, oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Maybe. It's more, I can't figure what's, what is going to resurrect them. Because they have the white eyes. They have the white eyes of, hey, I'm going to be resurrected soon. Ah, thanks. Oh, boy. I'm not happy. Oh, great. More of these pots. I'm... You know what I'm gonna do? See ya! <laughs> I've regretted not using that before. I'm not gonna make that same mistake now. Didn't quite get to the bonfire, but... Alright, I got alive. I, I lived. That's the important thing. Oh, what are you doing here? Hello again. I have since heard a great deal about you. For one, that you are most gentle of heart. I, too, am bound by duty, but can offer you my sign. I hear that cordial intrusion lays the path to embers. If I can be of help, by all means, do call upon me. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. Okay, cool, so I got her number. If you should acquire blessing of... I mean, okay. Oops. Wanted to switch. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. I kind of wonder what would happen if I used the Legion etiquette gesture during the Abyss Watchers fight. Like, at the start, would they have responded in kind? That would have been kind of cool. Oh, there was something I regretted not getting a 5k. I think it was the human form ring, so I don't really care then. Yeah, I was going to replace Morn's ring with that. Because there's a ring that's sold by the woman down there, by Yulia, that makes you look human if you're hollowed. And it's like, okay, that'd be handy, because hollowing 99, and I don't really feel like spending all these souls to unhollow when it doesn't really make a difference. Except I look better. But, meh. I'll think about it when I get the kind of hat I actually want. For now, no. I don't even really need more bolts at this point. Hmm. All right, well, I don't think there's anything else I need to worry about right now, so... I will go back to where I was, which is the Abyss Watchers bonfire. Although we did explore around, we didn't really make any solid progress. But at least, I mean, actually, we kind of did, because there was that run back path. So I'll just take that next time. Like, there's a shortcut right out of the gate, if you feel confident enough. So, yeah, I will... See you in the next episode where we will deal with that. Until then, have a good night.